Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I got a really interesting one today, thanks for the comment that I got. And I put every single player back on the team that drafted them. So I'm going to go through each team here and, you know, just kind of show you guys the differences. Like, Raquel is no longer here. There's a lot of players, basically, that got moved. So I'm pretty much just going to be going through them. Shea Theodore, yep, drafted by the Anaheim Ducks. And I've already done this and checked to make sure if they were undrafted, then essentially what I did was leave them because, you know, they <laughs> they weren't drafted, so what can I really do, you know? I could move them to free agency or something, but then we probably wouldn't have enough players. So, uh, yeah, they essentially got avoided. I know Anderson was drafted twice, once by the Hurricanes and once by the Ducks, but it says here the Ducks, so that's where I placed him. Arizona, we could have a look at them now. So, yeah, they have Blake Wheeler, which is pretty cool. They get Domi back, they have Bunting. Uh, Strom, just a bunch of players, and yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool, actually. I like this idea a lot, and I'll just kind of show you again. Phoenix and Arizona, you know, obviously the same thing there. Then they get Hill and Eric Chalgren. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The Boston Bruins get Tyler Sagan back for their second line, so that's gotta be fun. Jumbo Joe is back here as well. On defense, they get Dougie and McAvoy. What a top pairing that is. For sure. And yeah, let's go to the goaltenders. We've got Swayman and Dan Vladar. There was some instances where I had to bring in a goalie from like the ECHL or something to, in order to make these moves work. But ultimately, I ended up getting it done. So Reinhardt, not here. Eichel, not here. But they're back now. And let's go to the defense. We've got Dahlin with Ristolainen. Myers, McCabe, McNabb, and Zadorov. In Nets, we've got Linus Allmark. Yeah, and believe it or not, Cal Peterson. I did not know he was drafted by the Buffalo Sabres, but I learned that. So there's a lot of things I learned while I was doing this, actually. And one of them is this team right here. So they have Michael Furland at 70 overall, which is kind of rough. But um, anyway, they get Sam Bennett back, 83 overall. We go to their defenseman. They got Shillington. They got Adam Fox, which I did not know. I also found that out. And also, um, on top of that... Actually, no. Hold on. I was totally mistaken. It's the team he plays for now. But I'm just going to spoil it, I guess. Jacob Markstrom. He was drafted by Florida. Did not know that whatsoever. Yeah, that's my bad. I had that a little bit mixed up there. But anyway, we'll continue on here. Jeff Skinner back in Carolina. And they look to have a pretty solid team here. Andrew Ladd, drafted by Carolina. Defenseman, we get Slavin and Falk. All right, there you have it. I'm just kind of do this again to show you. If we go to the goaltenders, they drafted Ranta. And they also... Okay, someone told me how to say this name again recently. And I think it's just Nedeljkovic. I'm pretty sure that J just isn't there. It is, but it's not. You know what I mean? So that's going to be the way I'm going to say it from now on. And I don't know if it's Kovic or Kovic, actually. Maybe it's Nedeljkovic. The Chicago Blackhawks have some players returning here for sure. Tara Vinen, an interesting one, to say the least. And if we go to defensemen, they got Keith and Boakfist. Yoki Haru Vlasic, um, not the Vlasic you're thinking of, I bet, but a Vlasic nonetheless. And if we go to their goaltenders, they've got Craig Anderson. So I had no idea about this either. Yeah, this was interesting just to do in the sense that, you know, I found out where a lot of players were originally drafted. And it sort of blew my mind. Matt Duchesne back on Colorado, imagine that. And Ryan O'Reilly as well in the second round. We go to defensemen. We got Bo Byram and Kale McCarr, Barry and Butcher, and then Mason and Kevy back on the final pairing here. In net, the Colorado Avalanche have Pavel and Calvin Pickard. Is it Pickard? Picard? I don't know. But it's one of the two. I think it's Pickard. Columbus gets Dubois back. And on top of that, they get Cam Atkinson back. They also get Josh Anderson. Sonny Milano, there was a lot of players coming back to Columbus, it seems like. On defense, we got Wierenski and Savard, so 
not a whole lot going on here defensively that um, we added back. But yeah, they get Elvis and Anton Forsberg in the cage. And now moving on to Dallas. The Stars, they lost Sagan. But um, they got back Valerie Nichushkin. So that's cool. And if we go to the defense, actually one thing too, Nick Paul. I always remember him playing for Ottawa. I had no idea that he was drafted by Dallas. Defensively, Miro and Klingberg. No real surprise there. I don't really think much changed here on defense. In net, Jack Campbell. Mm-hmm. And Jake Ottinger. So there you go. Two Dallas Stars first round goalie draft picks. Here's the Detroit Red Wings. They get back Anthony Mantha from the Washington Capitals. They get back Gus Nyquist as well. And let's check out their defense. Moritz. But yeah, other than that, not really anything crazy going on there. Goalies, Peter Mrazek and Sebastian Kosa. Or Kosa, one of the two. Yeah, I had to do some research for this guy. Because for the most part, I just did it in the current NHL teams. But in some instances, if they didn't have a backup goalie, then I would try to find someone in the system. And that's where he came from. Eberly and Hall. Back on the Oilers here. Gagne as well. If we go to their defenseman, they get Petrie back. He was a second round pick for the Edmonton Oilers. Same with uh, John Marino. He was a sixth rounder though, however. And they get Ethan Bear back. If we go goalies, they get Devin Dubnik and Stuart Skinner. So they're not super strong in the cage at the moment. But they have a very good team other than that. The Flow Rider Panthers. So yeah, right off the bat, I'm just going to go to goalies. Markstrom. And they have Bobrovsky as the backup because he wasn't drafted. So I know maybe I could put him on Columbus because that's where he played before. But no. Well, what was the first team he played for? Why do I feel like he played on Philly as well? All right, I looked it up. I feel that way because it is that way. That's where he started in the NHL, actually, is uh, Philly. I was about to say Florida. Oh my word, I'm all over the place. But anyway, yeah, there you go. Great goaltender tandem right there. Um, Dadanov is back. Trocek has returned from Carolina. Zach Hyman was drafted by the Flow Rider Panthers. Mason Marchment not drafted. So that's interesting. I remember he played for the Marlies, but yeah, Owen Tippett. And defensively, we get not a massive change here by any standard. If we go to goalies, we already looked at him. So I don't know what I'm doing. Just a lost cause at this point. But anyway, let's carry forth to the Los Angeles Kings. So they end up getting Boyle back. <laughs> they also get uh, Toffoli back. And Braden Shen, which was interesting to see. Didn't know that either. Defensively, they get Martinez to return. And nothing else super major. Goalies. Jonathan Quick, and Jonathan Bernier. They like to draft goalies named Jonathan, apparently. I probably am missing players here, so, you know, don't <laughs> judge too hard, all right? This was a lot of moves going on. They get Alex Tuck back, which I think is pretty massive for them. They also got Granny Smith. If we go to defense, Brent Burns from San Jose. Yeah, he was drafted as a forward, I believe. Or maybe he was drafted as a defenseman. I don't know. I know that he played forward at some point, but... Anyway, yeah, Brent Burns has returned. And Darcy Kemper comes back to Minnesota. A sixth round pick. Cam Talbot here as well. He was undrafted. Next, we got the Montreal Canadiens. So they get Pacioretty back. They also get Kakaniemi back, who went to Carolina. There you go. The offense for them. If we go to defense, Ryan McDonough has returned. Same with P.K. Subban and Sergachev. Also comes back. So that is rather interesting. If we go to goaltenders, we got Carey Price and Yaroslav Halak. All right. Nice. Pajama Boy is back on the Islanders. And so is Ryan Strome. Pretty interesting. There's the offense on defense. We get Devon. Is it Devon or Devon? I'm not sure. I've heard both. But I'm going to go with Devon. Taves on defense, and Jared Spurgeon, which was very, very intriguing to me. I also did not see that one coming whatsoever, but 
He's there nonetheless. Chara is actually on the team right now, or at least he was this year. And it's the team that drafted him. So he returned back to the team who picked him up in the 96 draft, was it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, goalies, they get Ilyas Sorokin, and they get Miko Koskinen. So let's move on to the other New York team, the New York Rangers. Panarin is here, but he was undrafted. So, you know, although he did play for Columbus, he's still here. Uh, JT Miller returns. Yeah, he was a New York Rangers draft pick as well. Duclair has come back to the New York Rangers. Defensively, Ryan Graves and Brady Shea are the top pair there. Both of them are returning to their draft team. And in net, Igor Shosturkin and Georgiev. Kevin Fiala returns to Nashville along with Hornqvist, Arvidsson, and Radulov. So a lot of players returning here to the Smashville Predators. And on defense, they get Shea Weber to return and Ryan Suter as well. So they have quite the defense here, as you can see. Seth Jones and Samuel Girard as their final pair. Look at that. Their final pair has an X Factor, four abilities on that guy, five for their second pair, and then two with Suter. And yeah, they are just loaded up defensively. In net, they got UC what I see, and they get Vegmelka. I probably butchered that. But anyway, he was Arizona's goalie this year, and he was drafted by the Smashville Predators. Now it's time for New Jersey. All right, here we go. I'm trying to just scan and find players. Blake Coleman. He has come back to the New Jersey Devils. I'm probably missing someone big. But anyway, let's go to defense. Nothing crazy going on here. In net, Mackenzie Blackwood and Scott Wedgwood. Ottawa won big time as they get Mika Zibanejad and Mark Stone back. So that was spectacular for them. Drake Batherson, 86 overall. Well deserved. But uh, yeah, Hoffman there as well. We go to defensemen, uh, they get EK65 back, so that is a big addition for them. And I know that Carlson and Hoffman had some drama, but hopefully they can <laughs> sort that out as they are on the same team again here. And Robin Leonard plus Brian Elliott will be the two goaltenders for the Ottawa Senators. Now it's time for the Broad Street Bullies, the Philadelphia Flyers. They get Giroux back, recently traded, but he has returned. Nonetheless, they also get Jeff Carter and Nolan Patrick returns as well. Defensively, anything going on here? Not really. What about goaltenders? No. Carter Hart and Anthony Stellars. I don't think anything crazy happened with the Pittsburgh Penguins. I mean, they already have this line. Rust is there. Kapanen was with the Leafs, but yeah, he just went back to the team that drafted him as well. Jordan Stull is a new addition to the team. And uh, Sunkfist probably. Sprong as well, I think. I don't know. Sprong is with the Caps right now, so yeah. And Jake Muzzin returns to the Pity Pens here. 85 overall. That's a good addition for them. Bortuzzo as well. If we go to goaltenders, we get Flurry and Jari. So another. Very good pairing in net right here for Pity. Actually, slight correction. I just realized that Daniel Sprong is not with the Capitals. He is, in fact, with the Seattle Kraken. At the moment, anyway. But uh, Captain America Joe Pavelski returns to the San Jose Sharks here. So that is a big addition for them. If we go to the Defenders, they get Braun. Yeah, and the other Vlasic. The Vlasic that you were probably thinking of. Unless you guys know the other Vlasic more. In which case, I'm impressed. And here you go. We get Thomas and Alex as the two goaltenders for the San Jose Sharks. Now it's time for the Seattle Kraken. Which unfortunately, I just had to add a lot of free agents to. So they get Yanni Gord because he was not drafted by anybody. But other than that, Matty Beneers is drafted by the Kraken. But they just get a lot of free agent players who were not drafted, is what it boiled down to. Defensively, yep, same kind of situation there. And in net, 
same situation, unfortunately. So the Seattle Kraken are not benefiting from this whatsoever. They are going to have a miserable season, but there's not much I could really do about that. The St. Louis Blues have quite the addition here in Tage Thompson. So he has returned to St. Louis. Same with Timothy Jimothy. Can't forget him. Ryan Reeves as well. Uh, Robbie Fabry also returning to the St. Louis Blues. Defensively, we get Petrangelo coming back from the Golden Knights. So that is huge for them. Eric Johnson, believe it or not, was drafted first overall by the St. Louis Blues in the 20... 2006. Wow, never mind. Holy. It's weird saying that now because, you know, it's 2022. I just feel like a lot of the times it's going to be at least 2010. But no, he was even before that. 2006. If we go to goaltenders, they get Vili Husso and they get Jordan Bennington. So... They're two goalies right now. Tampa Bay sees the return of Jonathan Drouin. He is on Montreal at the moment, but no, he comes back to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's go to the defenders. We got Tony D joining Tampa Bay again. He was drafted by them in the first round, 19th overall. We go to goaltenders. They got Andre, of course. Yep, stud muffin. And they got Dustin Tokarski as the backup. The Toronto Maple Leafs get Kadri back, so that is huge for them. And Verhage as well. This guy kind of came out of nowhere, but he had quite the playoff run for the Florida Panthers and unfortunately played a big role in eliminating my Washington Capitals, who I didn't even know that Sprong... Well, I did know technically. It was just, you know, a <laughs> delayed reaction. But yeah, Sprong is not there anymore. But anyway, yeah, that was unfortunate to say the least. Andreas Janssen is back as well. If we go to their defenders, uh, Giordano, yeah, he's undrafted. So, you know, he, he can't go back to Calgary because he's undrafted. That would be breaking the rules. Dermot is back. And same with Sean Dersey, which was interesting to find out. If we go to their goaltenders, Jim, James Reimer will be their starter. And then Carter Hutton, who is currently playing for the Marlies, I believe, is the backup. And Vancouver, we're getting there. We are almost done. Unfortunately, the Golden Knights suffered a similar fate to the Seattle Kraken. But Jared McCann comes back to the Vancouver Canucks. And if we go to their defense, they have not a lot going on here, really. Uh, Gustav Forsling, I suppose, has returned. 83 overall. Not bad, not bad. In net, Thatcher Demko. Certified stud. And they get Corey Schneider as the backup. So unfortunately, I forgot to click record, but thankfully it has that time shift thing. So I still have the footage, but yeah, it's gonna have to be pieced together. Regardless, Peyton Krebs returning, Nick Suzuki returning, and Marcheseau was never drafted, so he remains. But this is the same situation as the Kraken, where I had to, you know, put a bunch of undrafted players on the team in order for them to have a full roster. So there you have it, Logan Thompson, not drafted, so he remains. Down to the final two teams here now, the Washington Capitals. So they get back Vrana, which is clutch. They get back Burakovsky, also elite. Chandler and Philip Forsberg from possibly one of the worst trades ever made. Martin Erat for Philip Forsberg, rookie mistake. Let's go to the defenders. Uh, nothing really major going on here. And in net, they get Semyon Varlamov. Vitek Vanacek will be the backup. And <laughs> if you go to their scratched, they have... Grubauer here as well. They have Holtby and they have Samsonov. So a lot of goalies going on here in Washington. But yeah, just all drafted by Washington or not drafted at all. Last but not least, we get the Winnipeg Jets who also get the Atlanta Thrashers players. So someone like Evander Kane, for example, drafted by the Thrashers. He will be here on the Winnipeg Jets. Andrew Kopp will be returning. Uh, same with Line from that Dubois trade. So that's pretty big for them. Defensively, they get Truba back. So that's a win. And in net, they got Hellebuck and Comrie. So let's jump into a season and find out which team will emerge victorious. So obviously, we don't want a fantasy draft. We want trades to be off as well and standard roster control. So that way, the lines are, you know, what they will be. There is some drastic overall changes here. The Anaheim Ducks up at 90. All right, let's kind of go through the Kraken. Have a nice overall there. The Golden Knights. Unfortunately, these two teams just got wrecked. But... You know, for the purpose of this video, it's it's just got to be like that. I'm sorry. Uh, Detroit at 85. 
And yeah, I'm not really sure what people's overalls are before, but this is what they are now. So I am just going to pick the Washington Capitals, I suppose, because it doesn't really matter. And on top of that, just to let you guys know, I moved a lot of, if not pretty much any free agent that would possibly get picked to the ECHL. So free agency is going to be essentially nothing. And I did that so that people can't just go picking up free agency, uh, free agents, sorry, to replace their not so great players. Um, so I'll just, yeah, it doesn't matter because we're not going to be trading anyway. We have it off and I don't want the coach to edit my lines. All right. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's turn off autosave real quick. Oh, it's already off. Splendid. Okay. Let's jump in and let's see how this thing goes. Based on what you guys have seen, what's your prediction? Who's going to win? this drafted team season just to show you guys here's the lines again and yeah it's what it was before when i was showing you guys the lines if we go to defense uh we get uh, did i never do i might not have never done best lines with these guys okay yeah i did this is what it wants i thought so i thought i did it for every single team but yeah looks like i did okay the defense and in net varlamov vanacek so let's do this. The Washington Capitals and Pittsburgh Penguins facing off in the playoffs. That is, what an iconic clash that is right there. But uh, let's go here and check everything out. John Carlson had the most points on our team with 67. That is wild. So the Islanders did very well. Finished with 105 points. Uh, the Rangers, not so hot. We finished third in the Metro. Pretty solid in the entire league. We finished ninth, pretty solid. Tampa Bay won the uh, President's Trophy with 107. The Ottawa Senators with 106, so they benefited big time from this. And I'll just kind of scroll down here, show all the teams. It was the top 16 that made it. And here you go. That is them all. Yeah, so wow, the Golden Knights actually beat the Rangers. That is mental. Holy. Seattle obviously struggled big time, but anyway, that is... Something special. John Carlson leading our team with 67. Ovi only putting up 63. What is that all about? And almost 40 goals. Anyway, Chandler with 60. Atta boy. Look at you go. Legend. Forsberg, 58. How'd the goalies do? Boom. Not great. Not great. I mean, 906 is not awful, but could be better. 271. Okay. I see you. Let's check out the entire league, shall we? Boom. So, Robin Leonard, yeah, he killed it with the Senators. A 917, 252. Uh, you see what I see, 917, 239. We have a 914 down here with Pavel, 918 for Mackenzie Blackwood. All right, there you have it. Cool. Let's check out the defenseman now, shall we? Defenseman, we get Quinn Hughes with 80 points. Victor Hedman, 77. Yossi with 75. John Carlson, 67. Adam Fox put up. 66 for the Flames, Pi Trangelo, Petrangelo 59 for the St. Louis Blues, and yeah, there you have it, okay, nice, let's check out the forwards now, boom, Matthews puts up 100, Patty Kane with 99, Cooch 94, Malkin 94, same with Marner, Sebastian puts up 91, Leon puts up 90, Crosby 90, ADB 88, all right, there you go. Oh, I'm just scrolling through at this point. Mark Stone. Is that the first guy that moved? I think it might be. I think so. Yeah. All right. Interesting. And time for the playoffs. Let's do this thing. The Minnesota Wild take home the Stanley Cup. Good for them. Congratulations. That That's a bear, by the way. Their logo is a bear. With a tree and just like nature in it. I know everyone knows that by now. I'm just messing around. Okay, so... Philip Forsberg did well in the playoffs. Nine points in seven games. Good for you. But we want to check out the awards. So here we go. Minnesota Wild. Yep. In Tampa Bay, we knew that. The Ottawa Senators ended up making it to the finals. So yeah, the Sens faced off against the Minnesota Wild. And they took an L. Individual trophies. The Art Ross goes to Matthews, as we saw. The Hart goes to Malkin. Yossi with the Norris. Patty Kane with the Lady Bing. Raymond gets the Calder. Kaprizov with the Con Smythe. Saros with the Vesna and the Jennings. Braun with the Bill Masterton. Barkov gets the Selkie. Ted Lindsay goes to Malkin. And the Rocket Richard goes to Austin Matthews. If we check out the playoff tree here, that's how it all went down. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. 
Let me know if that's what you expected or something similar. And yeah, this was a pretty cool video. I liked it. It took a lot of work to set up, but it was fun. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon.